Hello everyone. Welcome to another video series of our survey one to three. So today we'll be looking at the managing your data that comes in from your survey one to three form. So um, the last episode I had to talk about you know analyzing the survey that came in, creating maps, charts, and different types of you know data from each of the survey that came in. So we want to look at you know managing those data. Sometimes you need to clean this data, you know, filter this data, so on and so forth. So today we look at you know, filtering this data that comes into your survey one to three. So now you navigate to the tab, which is the data tab. On this data tab it pops up a map and also pops up a table for you and that table contains all the attributes data that was gathered from your survey now if you want to view the map also you can also you know split the screen make sure that there are equal screens you can zoom into the map and zoom out yeah, so basically you can also select one of these as you can see when you select any of these forms on the map is also selected automatically now i want to go into filtering your data now for example you just want a section of the data you have a whole bunch of data you just want to focus on some part of the data that comes in so for this for the purpose of this survey we just focus on let's filter by um the department so i just want to know how many of my survey responded from a particular department so i'll click i'll click on this filter tab here then on this filter tab i have the date tab this is actually the field tab where you can change um, either by name department staff id and so on so i click on department i click ok the department is and what is the value of the department so i want to take my account professional service and apply uh, on this tab i also have apply and zoom to so when you want to for example you just want to apply this and you want your map to also you know focus on where you have filtered that you can do that so i'll click on apply and zoom to yeah, so as you can see the record changed so we just have one two three four five records that came into the technical department so this is actually a way to actually filter and focus on some specific type of data you want to also if you want to export this particular you know filter data you can actually do that too so we're going to how to export your, your form so i'll just click now sometimes you filter something and you just want to you know delete that filter and make sure all your your data are 100 percent correct so you just click on this tab here which we have the remove filter you click on the remove filter and all your data are back so now going to exporting this data you want to export this data based on csv excel or whatever format so if you want to three gives you the capability to do that so here yeah, you navigate to the export and on this export you have the csv the excel the kml you can also export as a ship file also that, that you can import to your rjs pro or any other geospatial software you use and you also have the file geo database which can also be imported into the RGS Pro platform. So for the purpose of the server, I'll just click the CSV file. So right away it exports all our data and it zip them into the CSV file. So I can open this.
So what I have here is all the information concerning my survey, the time, the name, the department, and so on and so forth. So this can actually be, you know, used for any kind of analysis you want or any platform that you want that you know contains CSV. So it's not just on CSV only. So just on CSV only, you can also export to your Excel, a KML, a shapefile, and a file your database for to conduct more analysis that you want. So the next thing we are going into is how to generate reports from the data that comes in. So for example, you you are carrying out a project and you want to make sure that um, the Various stakeholders are aware of how this report came in, how this report has submitted, the kind of data that you know you have collected. You can actually generate reports from this um, survey one to three that comes in. So on this tab, we have the reports tab here. You can click click on reports. Now you choose the records that you want. Now you can also choose for selected records you want to create a report based on the selected record. You can select individual records on your data and if you want all the records which are 14 records you can do that also now so if you want to use a template now what one of the advantages of this is that you can customize this template when you click on manage templates i've downloaded three separate templates which was provided by so we want to three these are the default template provided by Survey123. You have the individual, you have the summary report template, and you have the um, summary and individual, which is combining the two of them together in a report. So now you can also you know, customize your own template. As you can see, your report template is an MS Word that provides placeholder text with specific syntax. Now, if you want to customize your own template, um, there are a whole lot of um, um, reference you can you know make for example if I click this quick reference I will have all the information and guidelines on how to create my own specific forms and also you can actually um, take advantage of the default template provided by the survey one, two, three, and you can use that and edit and create a new template of your own. So, but for the um, purpose of this survey, I'll be using the default individual template. So, I want to create um, a welfare template on individual records of you know, all the data that came in. So, I I'll choose the template I want to. So we have three templates here, so I choose the individual template, the output setting. Now this has to do with if you want to split them, you want to split the document separately, or you want to combine them. Now, if you want to combine this um, template, you have the match. And that match for each individual record is started on a new page. But while this match continues as to do it, even when it, um, the form multiple reports can be in a single file, and it doesn't, you know, uh, start the report, the next report on a new page. So um, for the purpose of this um, tutorial, we use the match continuous, and you can rename the report. I give you the welfare survey report. Then ask you the folder you want to save it to, and most importantly, the um, the formats you want to save it to, which is you know you can choose between the MS Word or the PDF. So we generate with this PDF. Now this is what the generated form looks like. As you can see, you see the welfare survey demo. This is the title of your survey submitted by 
anonymous user gives you the time and gives you all the report about everyone who sub submitted this and this is the way this is the way in which you can you know, generate your own reports you know submit to the different stakeholders that you want to run. so it's a simple and one of the most interesting thing is you can customize how this report look like using the reference guide that was provided by survey one two three yeah so we have gone through you know filtering your survey by dates or by the attribute data that you want gone through you know selecting individual records and also we want to go into as a GIS analyst um, when, when uh, field, work, field workers collect data most of the time this data needs to be you know cross-checked and actually you know cleaned up so you have the ability to actually edit some of these surveys that comes in for example you know someone made an error which you know it's it's, it's an error which was a very obvious error maybe based on the numbers or based on you know, imputing it so you can manually edit them here if you want maybe the staff id number or the home address or you want to you know enrich this data by yourself on this survey one to three before you export to maybe your ArcGIS pro or your or any geospatial software that you use so yes, so that is that about you know managing your data, filtering your data, exporting it to the different formats, and actually generating reports from it. Thank you.